Good morning, brothers and sisters. We offer this Mass for deliverance from the pandemic of COVID-19. The frontliners who unselfishly offer their services in these difficult times. For those afflicted with the virus and other diseases and those who have died. For proper guidance and enlightenment of our civil and church leaders. For those who send their private intentions. For the benefactors and friends of the Basilica. And for our personal intentions. Let us now pray the Regina Celli. Queen of Heaven, rejoice, Alleluia. For he whom you did marry to bear, Alleluia, has risen as he said, Alleluia. Pray for us to God, Alleluia. Rejoice and be glad, the Virgin Mary, Alleluia. For the Lord is truly risen, Alleluia. Let us pray. O God, who gave joy to the world through the resurrection of thy Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, grant we beseech thee that through the intercession of the Virgin Mary, his mother, we may obtain the joys of everlasting life through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. Let us pray the Oratio Imperata. Merciful and compassionate Father, we confess our sins, and we humbly come to you to find forgiveness and life. We come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 virus that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the for sickness and death, restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people testifying cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. Bless our efforts to use the medicines developed to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion, grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through his crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all these. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, Amen. Our Lady of Piat, health of the sea, Saint Joseph, Saint Raphael the Archangel, San Roque, San Lorenzo Ruiz, San Pedro Calungsod, Santo Domingo de Guzman. Please stand. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. In today's Gospel, John tells us that God loves the world so much 
that he gave us his only begotten son. The Eucharist is a sacrament of love where God every day gives us Jesus, his only begotten son. Let us pray that we may correspond to the love of God by manifesting his love in our daily life through our love of God and love of neighbor. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. As we recall year by year the mysteries by which, through the restoration of its original dignity, human nature has received the hope of rising again. We earnestly beseech your mercy, Lord, that what we celebrate in faith we may possess in unending love through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The high priest rose up and all his companions, that is the party of the Sadducees, and filled with jealousy, laid hands upon the apostles and put them in the public jail. But during the night, the angel of the Lord opened the door of the prison, led them out, and said, Go and take your place in the temple area and tell the people everything about this life. When they heard this, they went to the temple early in the morning and taught. When the high priest and his companions arrived, they convened the Sanhedrin, the full senate of the children of Israel, and sent to the jail to have them brought in. But the court officers who went did not find them in the prison, so they came back and reported, We found the jail securely locked, and the guards stationed outside the doors. But when we opened them, we found no one inside. When the captain of the tem temple guard and the chief priest heard this report, they were, they were at a loss about them as to what this would come to. Then someone came in and reported to them, the men whom you put in prison are in the temple area and are teaching the people. Then the captain and the court officers went and brought them, but without force, because they were afraid of being stoned by the people. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall be ever in my mouth. Let my soul glory in the Lord. The lowly will hear me and be glad. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. Glorify the Lord with me. Let us together extol his name. I sought the Lord, and he answered me and delivered me from all my fears. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. Look to him that you may be radiant with joy. 
and your faces may not blush with shame. When the poor one called out, the Lord heard, and from all his distress, he saved him. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. The angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him and delivers them. Taste and see how good the Lord is. Bless the man who takes refuge in him. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. Please stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, so that everyone who believes in him might not perish, but might have eternal life. For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world might be saved through him. Whoever believes in him will not be condemned, but whoever does not believe has already been condemned, because he has not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. And this is the verdict that the light came into the world, but people preferred darkness to light because their works were evil. For everyone who does wicked things hates the light and does not come toward the light so that his works might not be exposed. But whoever leaves the truth comes to the light so that his works may be clearly seen as done in God. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. This is one of the most famous gospel passages. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son. Our God is a giving God. Ang Diyos natin nagbibigay at hindi lamang yung mga pangangailangan natin pang araw-araw ang ibinibigay ng Panginoong Diyos, kundi ibinigay sa atin ang pinakamahalaga na biyaya, ang Panginoong Heso Kristo. Jesus came to save the world as the gospel tells us. Jesus did not come to condemn the world but to save us. And this is what we celebrate every year as we commemorate the resurrection of Jesus. Because of God's tremendous love for us, Jesus suffered, died, but out of love, He resurrected for us. He came back to life so that we who are supposed to die might live forever. We share in the glorious resurrection of Jesus. Dahil sa malaking pagmamahal ng Diyos sa atin, ipinagkaloob sa atin ang Panginoong Heso Kristo. At dahil si Kristo ay muling nabuhay, tayong lahat na nabinyagan sa ngalan ni Kristo ay may buhay walang hanggan. And this is what we have to do to preserve that gift of eternal life that we receive in Jesus by our faith and good works. Kinakailangan po nating pagtrabahuan ang ating kaligtasan. It is true that Jesus already saved us. That is what you call universal redemption. God saved the world, saved us. But 
it is up to us how we correspond to the love of God. If we love God and we love our neighbor, then that will be manifested in our thoughts, in our words, and in our deeds. And if love is the moving force of our day-to-day -day life, then we are assured of salvation. We are assured of eternal life. So, pangalagaan po natin ang grasya, ang biyaya na ipinagkaloob sa atin ng Panginoong Diyos. Secondly, God brought us out of darkness. As the Gospel today tells us, whoever leaves the truth comes to the light so that his works may be clearly seen as done in God. One of the beautiful symbolisms of Easter tide is the Paschal candle. During the Easter vigil, we bless the new fire. And in our baptism, we were given the light of Christ. So every Christian, my dear friends, is a light that reflects the light of Jesus. And how do we enlighten those who are around us? Paano ba tayo magbibigay ng kaliwanagan sa mga tao na nasa paligid natin? Sa pamamagitan ng ating magandang halimbawa. Sa pamamagitan ng ating buhay. Kapag tayo ay nagsusumikap na maging mabait. Kapag tayo ay nagmamahalan. Kapag tayo ay nagbibigayan. Then, my dear brothers and sisters, we shine the light of Christ. If we denounce what is evil, we reject what is unjust, we proclaim what is truthful, then we enlighten people around us and we become true lights of the world. Jesus says that we are the light of the world and we can only become the light of the world if we give witnessing to the light of Christ. So we are not the true light. The true light is Jesus. Our life is a reflection of the light of Jesus. And that reflection is manifested again in our thoughts, in our words, and in our deeds. So every Christian is challenged by our Lord today to burn brightly as we continue our Easter celebration that we may become God's sacramental presence, God's symbolic presence in the world by the witness of our life, by our example, and above all, by manifesting in our deeds our love for God and for one another. Please stand. With confidence, we bring our cares and concern before God the Father, who loved the world so much that He gave His only Son, so that everyone who believes in Him may not be lost, but may have eternal life. In the name of Jesus, bless us. In the name of Jesus, bless us. That the church may always be a living sign of God's love and mercy in times of darkness and despair. Let us pray to the Lord. In the name of Jesus, bless us. That we may live in such a manner that the love of God may shine forth in all our actions. Let us pray to the Lord. In the name of Jesus, bless us. That the love of God may bring peace into our hearts and harmony in our lives. Let us pray to the Lord. In the name of Jesus, bless us. That through the care and attention 
shown by their family or friends, the sick and those who suffer may realize that they are loved by God. Let us pray to the Lord. In the name of Jesus, bless us. That our beloved dead may all share in the glory of the resurrection. Let us pray to the Lord. In the name of Jesus, bless us. Heavenly Father, look with love on all your children and guide us safely in our pilgrim journey. We make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Father Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. O God, who by the wonderful exchange effected in this sacrifice, have made us partakers of the one supreme Godhead. Grant, we pray, that as we have come to know your truth, we may make it ours by a worthy way of life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all to love you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. By the oblation of his body, he brought the sacrifices of old to fulfillment in the reality of the cross, and by commending himself to you for our salvation, showed himself the priest, the altar, and the lamb of sacrifice. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim.
please thee. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At a time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Ricardo, our Bishop, and all the clergy, remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say. Sa'yo, 
Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. Let us now pray the ark of his spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you're in the blessed sacrament. I love you above all things and I long for you in my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. As though you have already come, I embrace you and unite myself entirely to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Soul of Christ, sanctify me. Body of Christ, save me. Blood of Christ, inebriate me. Water from the side of Christ, wash me. Passion of Christ, strengthen me. O good Jesus, hear me, within your wounds hide me, 
Permit me not to be separated from you. From the wicked foe, defend me. At the hour of my death, call me and bid me come to you, that with your saints I may praise you forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord, and lead those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please kneel. Let us pray that the forthcoming national and local elections may truly reflect the will of the Lord who guides the destinies of nations. For every petition, let us pray together. Deliver us, Lord. Deliver us, Lord. From coercion, intimidation, violence, and terrorism. Deliver us, Lord. From dishonesty, lies, and all distortion of truth. Deliver us, Lord. From bribery, vote buying, and vote selling graft, and all conspiracy for fraud. Deliver us, Lord. From gullibility to the deceptive and blindness of perspective. Deliver us, Lord. From threats, intimidation, and perverse language. Deliver us, Lord. Let us pray together. Hear us, Lord. Hear us, Lord. That conscience may always be our ultimate norm. Hear us, Lord. That the common good may always be our highest goal. Hear us, Lord. That human dignity may be respected all the time. Hear us, Lord. That the poor and the weak may always have the priority. Hear us, Lord. That care for creation may never be ignored. Hear us, Lord. That solidarity may guide the path of peace and development. Hear us, Lord. That genuine fear of God and love of neighbor may guide those who seek public office. Hear us, Lord. Let us pray all together, shepherd of souls and savior of the nations. Politics is your gift to us, a call to serve others and grow in holiness. Guide our politics as you guide our lives. 
May our political engagement for voters and candidates bring glory to your loving name and help us grow in holiness forever and ever. Amen. Our Lady of Piat, pray for us. St. Dominic de Guzman, pray for us. Please stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth in peace. Thanks be to God. Let us pray the prayer before a crucifix. Look down upon me, good and gentle Jesus, while before your face I humbly kneel, and with burning soul pray and beseech you to fix deep in my heart lively sentiments of faith, hope, and charity through contrition for my sins and a firm purpose of amendment, while I contemplate with great love and tender pity your five most precious ones, pondering over them within me, and calling to mind the words that David, your prophet, said of you, my Jesus. They have pierced my hands and feet. They have numbered all my bones. Prayer to Our Lady of Piat. O Virgin Mary, Our Lady of the Visitation of Piat, I have recourse to you today. I do offer this day in praise and thanksgiving for past benefits, and in the hope of receiving new blessings which you know I need in life. Deign, no dear rest, Mother, to shower upon us all the blessings which we need most for body and soul, particularly. And a special grace to die in God's love, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Our Lady of God, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. <laughs> 